So after the first day of not being able to negotiate a deal with the dealership, they gave me a call back with a better offer and I decided to go back up there. This time I was gonna test ride the bike first and then decide on numbers. As they rolled the bike out, I was amazed, but I still kept staring back at the gold wing and then I would look at the bike again. Then I would look at the gold wing and then I just wondered, would I really wanna give up all that for this? And I hadn't rode it yet, so it remained to be seen. So there it is, the 2023 Harley Davidson CVO 2023. About to take it out for a spin, see how this thing works and rides. And uh, there we go. I think before any test ride that you take, you should have a plan. You should decide whether you wanna just feel the ride of the bike or if you wanna to touch and play with the gauges. So with this bike, it was overwhelming because of the new large screen and I just kept touching the different gauges and different buttons, I mean, just to see what kind of reactions I can get from the gauge. And I was looking at how to find out how to work it instead of just riding the bike. When I finally figured it out, I told myself, just ride. Let's just see what this is. Forget about what bike you're on and just evaluate the comfort, the ride, the speed, the pickup, the sound of the motor, and the different things that you could just kind of tell if you're gonna like it or not. How you like it? The low rider. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> That's what I was telling people when I had it, man. I was like, that thing can crush any bike. I know. Once, I, once you ride it, you can't undo it. No. It's like you have to have it once you ride a low ride. I mean, a, a live wire. Yeah. I'm about to say live wire. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. If you want to do highways or back roads? Uh, we can do back roads. All right. I got so as I complete the ride, I want to just do some more testing on like the maneuverability and the handling of the bike as far as with these bars that it comes with and um, the balance and the weight distribution, how I could swing this bike around. And um, it felt pretty light. Um, for some reason, I didn't feel as balanced with the tour pack and I couldn't understand why I felt that way. But, um, you know, because I had taken the tour pack off of the other road glide that I have. But, um, what I didn't realize is that I failed to set the suspension and that could pretty much ruin our test rod. It's a little underpowered. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, all this sounds like, damn, I expected more. Um, so, I don't know, man. It's, it looks good. So, I'm just thinking with my other bike, when you're behind the, uh, when you're behind the handlebars and in, in the saddle, um, the only thing you're thinking about is the ride and the power that you have. You're not really thinking about the uh, electronics and the headlight and all that other stuff anymore. You're not thinking about it being a, a CVO, you just thinking about the power and how you feel behind the bike. So right. I feel the same behind the bike, but um, I feel like I'm on a stock um, bike motor-wise. Um, it just, I don't know if it's the, it's just not awakened yet or what, but um, maybe it's just the power to weight distribution is, yeah. It's not the same as like, so my Lowrider S with the 117, that thing is light. You can just feel the pull. Mm -hmm. I feel the pull on this, like I put it in sports mode, but it just wasn't what I would get from uh, my other right. my other road glide. I mean, that's got the 131 stage four, but this didn't feel anything like it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, man, it would be, ah, man. It would all be about just having something new, but I don't know if I would even like this thing after a week or two. It's cool, but eh, let's see what the numbers say. Yeah. 
All right, so this is that 2023 CVO Road Glide that everyone's raving about with the 121 variable valve timing. And um, I rode it, and um, I think the hype is just because Harley's really changed this bike and made it new with a new front fairing design. But um, other than that, um, it does have new internals, this, that, and the other. I couldn't really tell the difference in the suspension. I was more worried about you know, what kind of power I would feel. And, you know, I wasn't worried about the sound because I don't care about sound on bikes. I'd rather hear my engine. And um, even though Grady is loud as shit, but I just, uh, I don't know, man. This thing wasn't doing it for me. And just like that, I went another day without purchasing the bike. The deal was sweet, but now the love of the bike just wasn't there. Stay tuned for the third time, because it just might be the charm.